Hola, bonjour, hello. Welcome to Chanteuse Tarot. Hi everyone, welcome. This is a general love reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of January 2022. You could have Virgo anywhere in your astrological chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere else. You could be cross-watching for a Virgo or just intuitively guided here. Whatever the reason or season, know that you are so very welcome. If you'd like to skip ahead to the reading, there is a timestamp listed in the description box below. I wanted to let you know, head on over to Instagram and TikTok, where I upload daily tarot and oracle cards. If you're interested in a private reading, that information is also listed below, including a link to my Etsy shop. I'm currently running a winter solstice sale. All tarot readings are 30% off from December 20th to the 25th, 2021. Remember, these readings are general, so just take what resonates to your situation and leave the rest. Okay, Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of voices. This is two of um, swords. So uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm getting two things. One, you could be in the midst of making a cho trying to make a choice, make a decision. You're not sure which way to go. You're kind of at a crossroads. I feel like for a lot of you, it's whether or not you want to continue on with a, an existing connection. Um, and I picked up on some of you being married, whether or not you want to continue to work on this or not. Um, so, you know, that, that, that decision about whether or not to move forward or to, um, you know, go on a new path to separate is, is heavily on, on your mind for some of you. Um, yeah. Okay. I feel like some of you are, if you're married, you might be considering divorce, but you're not you're not certain if you, if you want to if you want to do that yet. Okay. At the bottom of this heart spread Virgo, we have the Emperor, that's Aries energy, and we have the 6 of inspiration. That's the 6 of wands, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So what I'm getting is that you could be involved with an Aries or another fire sign. Um, someone who can be quite proud and this person could also work have for themselves, be an entrepreneur, um, have their own business. And I feel like this pride that this person has may have gotten in the way of your relationship. Mm, maybe they're too prideful to ask for help or to admit that things weren't going well and that um, contributed to issues in your relationship. Um, and you're, you're not sure if these issues can be, you know, um, overcome. Um, and you know, I can't, I can't make a decision for you. I can just share the insight, um, that is provided to me through spirit, but I feel like the, the ego, the pride of this other person has caused, um, a wedge in your relationship, you know, but you know, on the other side of that, this person could be very confident, you know, um, the emperor is very confident, very stable, but um, you know, there is a potential to, to be very prideful and, you know, too much pride can, can be a hindrance, um, in a connection, in a relationship. Next we have the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy and the 10 of emotions. This is 10 of cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So yeah, that's why I feel like this is a big marriage card, the Hierophant. I feel like some of you are already married to this person. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be only take that obviously if it resonates for your situation, but I feel like marriage, you know, you, 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 you have experienced so much joy and happiness and, um, emotional and spiritual abundance with this person. Uh, and it's understandable that you may not be willing to walk away from this, you know, um, relationships go through cycles, ups and downs, you know, things ebb and flow. So only you, only, you know, for sure, if if this is, um, you know, a situation that you want to remain in or, or you want to walk away from. And, and I do feel like there's sort of two camps. One, one is, you know, one group of viewers is considering walking away more strongly than the other. The other is, is, is not giving up. And I'll, and I'll get to that in a moment. So, yeah, I feel like your family life is filled with beautiful, wonderful memories. And this, you know, is an obvious reason not to want to walk away from this if you're going through a challenging time. But I feel like a lot of you are married, are married, or were married to this person, or married. Yeah, I just get marriage <laughs> heavily. All right, next we have the seven of inspiration. That's more fire energy, seven of wands, and the fool. 
Uh, that can be Aries, even sometimes Gemini energy. So seven of inspiration is about not giving up. The Fool is about starting new chapters, taking a leap of faith. So I feel like there's a very strong lot of you who are not willing to give up on this. This is, you know, you're committed, you're in this. It's likely you may have a family with this person, children, not necessarily, but for some of you. Um, and getting that you're you're not willing to give up. See how they're pushing the darkness out? They're not willing to give up on, on what is light, what is beautiful and pure within this connection. Um, I don't know why I just got fire house. So you or the person, your partner or husband or wife or whoever this person is that you're thinking of could be a firefighter. Anyway, um, I really like the beach. I just noticed the sand. I, I read intuitively, so just take that if it if it um, resonates for your situation. For the others of you who are considering walking away from this connection, I feel like um, this is you, you know, standing up for yourself, not backing down and deciding, you know what, I do want to start out, uh, make a new start on my own. You know, um, that I, I, I don't, I don't feel like I can move forward with this connection in this form anymore. It's time for me to, to, to head out on my own. So like I said, I'm seeing two different groups. So you just have to decide which, you know, which group, um, sounds right for you. All right. Next, we have the Knight of Materials and the Eight of Materials. That's the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So I feel like for those of you who are ready, you know, you think, okay, I'm, I'm going to move forward with this connection. I'm not going to let it go um, or give up on it. You realize that a lot of work has to be put in um, in order for this relationship to be revived, to come back, to get back to the, the Ten of Emotions right um to the way things have been in the past um and that it'll be slow and steady progress it won't be something that can happen overnight and you know it'll require both of you to put the effort in um but but i don't see it happening immediately the knight of, of pentacles is the slowest knight in the tarot deck um i also feel like you know there may be a lot going on with you just in general you see all the arms of this person you know she's got she's juggling a lot of well, these are roses, not balls, but she's got a lot going on, right? Um, work, home life, marriage, it's not just a relationship that I think is weighing heavily on your mind. Um, so I see you seeking and finding balance. Um, for others of you, the other, you know, the other group that I'm thinking of that is, is strongly considering walking away, you might feel like you've already invested enough time and energy into this and things haven't changed and you don't, see that putting any additional work will change the outcome or change the direction that you're that this relationship is on so again I'm seeing hard work and and patience being required but you just have to decide if you know if you're willing to to continue to put in invest this energy and time or not um yeah Ho focus heavily on finances um security as well Mm. Yeah, some of your, in addition to ego, some of your challenges in the relationship could be related to money for some of you. Next, we have the tower and we have the muse of emotion. So in this deck, that is the king of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that's water energy. I feel like there's been a big, there was a big upset. Um, maybe things had been building for a while and then there was sort of an explosion and a really ugly argument and all of these feelings came out. But things that hadn't been said or that had been held back just came pouring out for you, for the other person, or for both of you. And it was shocking and you realize we are not in a solid place. You know, maybe you were in denial or that person was in denial, but finally when all was said and done, you realize, okay, um, we have to start. We have to start all over. We we have we have to begin again um, from scratch. You know, the 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 foundation that we had for this marriage, for this committed relationship, whatever form it takes, has has cracked. It's faulty. We need to break break it down in order to build ourselves back up, to build this relationship back up. And there's a ton of emotion here. You know, this person. You know, you could be involved with a water sign. They have a, a ton of emotion for you. Um, I don't think that's the issue here. There's there's mutual love and affection, but you have to decide if you can still work together as a team. See these two 
figures here together. They're in sync, right? I want almost like synchronized swimming. Maybe some of you enjoy synchronized swimming. I don't know. That could be for one person, uh, the ocean. But um, yeah, you, ha you have to decide if, um, you know, you you're able to, to move forward. And it's, again, it's not for lack of love, I feel, or affection. That hasn't changed. But I think behavior, um, behavior needs to change. Perhaps even the roles that you've assumed in the relationship need to be re-examined and, and um, modified. You know, you have to start over again in order for this, for this to work. You can't keep, you know, building on top of a uh, shaky ground, a shaky foundation if things aren't well with you and, and expect that things will get better. Maybe considering, um, you know, speaking to a religious or spiritual leader, if, if you, um, you know, belong to a particular uh, faith group or um, consider couples counseling, um, you know, I want to say, you know, of course, speak to your friends and family if you feel that's appropriate, but it might be best for a lot of you to have an impartial mediator here, someone who's not emotionally invested in your relationship or either side. So take that message if it feels right for your situation. All right. And, you know, I wasn't quite sure about this final card here. The Eight of Emotions, that's the Eight of Cups, more water energy. So it's very strongly possible that you're connected with a water sign or that you yourself have heavy water in your astrological chart. So again, I feel like there's these two groups, these two camps watching. One that is like, okay, if we're going to continue to move forward, if we're going to make this happen, I have to walk away from patterns of behavior, from um, expectations, um, from perceptions that are toxic, that are unhealthy for me and for this, this relationship. Um, I have to start over and that can be scary. Like this black hole, like what is going to happen? I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know I, know, I know that things need to change, but I don't know how they're going to change, what the outcome will be. For others of you, this is you walking away from the relationship. I just, you know, I have to be honest with what I'm feeling and seeing. So, um, you know, if that's what you decide you need to do for you and for your family, um, you know, then, then do that if that's the way you're guided. Um, and yeah, it can be scary to start out on your own, particularly if you've been in a long-term relationship for a very long time, you've been out of the dating scene, but that really should not be on the forefront of your mind. You need to decide, you know, regardless of starting to date again or not and all that stuff, are you willing to walk away or are you going to stay and are you determined to keep working at this? Um, so yeah, I see like one group um, walking away from you know, things that no longer serve you in order to strengthen the relationship. And others of you are just like, you know what? I think it's time for me to move forward on my own um, and bless this relationship for everything it's taught you and and provided for you, all the lessons you've learned and the beautiful memories. Um, but, you know, you, you, you're ready to, to move forward alone. And when I say alone, we're never really truly alone. Even when we feel that way, you are surrounded by your spiritual team, you know, um, your angels, your guides, your ancestors. Um, you, you're never truly alone, but it can feel lonely, particularly if you're, if you're going through a separation of some kind. So, uh, you know, either way, I, I feel like you're going to be okay, Virgo. You know, you're very practical and, um, and determined and, and generally very stable, reliable sign. So, you know, whether you choose to stay or go is up to you, but, you know, I, I feel like you're going to be okay either way. All right, so in order to round out your reading, we're going to choose one final card from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. So angels, archangels, benevolent spirit guides, please continue to bless and protect me, this deck, and this reading. Please provide us with one final love message for the sign of Virgo for the month of January 2022. What most needs to be seen, felt, heard, and understood at this time for Virgo for January 2022. What they most need to see, feel, hear, and know. Love messages, please, for Virgo. Love messages, please, for Virgo, January 2022. Ooh, that turned right over. Okay, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, 
for those of you who decide to stay, I think it might be fun for you guys. It might really help to um, renew the relationship if you can try to capture that feeling of when you first were spending time together, when you first noticed each other, um, being flirtatious, um, you know, teasing, you know, um, th all those little adorable things <laughs> that people do in the beginning of a relationship when they're just getting to know each other. Um, so yeah, be light, be fun. Um, you know, I know that the, the, there's a lot, there has been a lot of heaviness in this, in this reading, but there's still room for, for light, for, um, you know, that, that honeymoon kind of, of feeling and energy here. If for those of you who are deciding to move forward without this particular person, this is something that I think you can look forward to, you know, flirting with other people um, and, you know, not feeling like you have to commit. Um, but either way, whether you, you share this flirtatious energy with someone new or with the person that you're currently with now, I think it will help to benefit your connection. It'll help to relieve some stress and it'll just be fun, you know, it, it's, it's okay to have fun. And I looked at the bottom of the deck, we have reconciliation. So like I said, for, for half of you, I feel like you're going to continue on with this relationship. You're going to move forward um, and, and reconnect. Um, let your friends help you. Yeah, if you need support from family and friends, um, then, then seek it. But always trust your own, your, finally, your own guidance. Go with your intuition. Okay, Virgo, I do hope that you enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. It means so very much, and it helps this channel to grow. Wherever you are in the world, I'm wishing you so much love and light. Take good care. Bye.